The removal strategy for subtraction teaches students the ability to decompose or break apart numbers into easy to remove parts. Students will need to keep the minuend or that starting number in a subtraction problem intact and remove the subtrahend or that second number in friendly to remove parts. The key to this strategy is to help students realize when this is efficient and when this is not efficient. The closer the two numbers are in a subtraction problem, the more likely students are to use maybe counting back as opposed to this strategy. Remember, counting back is when they're counting back by one. This removal strategy is when they're counting back or subtracting in parts. The removal strategy for subtraction will be most successful if students initially have access to dry erase boards and number lines. Remember, this is a mental math strategy and eventually those should be pulled away. But now I'm going to model what this strategy looks like when introducing it with students. Boys and girls, remember that subtraction means removal or taking away an amount. So for example, I have 56 objects here. I want to take 21 away or I want to remove 21 objects in order to find the, remount, the amount that remains. One way to do this is to take away an amount one at a time until 21 have been removed. So let me try this. Let me take away one object at a time until I've taken away 21 objects. All right, let me do this here. Yikes, this is taking a long time. All right, I have to take away 21 objects and see what I have left. All right, and yikes, that takes a really long time. Hmm, let's try this on a number line instead. Okay, so I have my number line, um, and I'm going to take away one at a time until I've taken away 21. All right, so I'm going to keep taking this away. Yikes, you know, this just isn't efficient. This is taking way too long. There has to be a better way to do this, a more efficient strategy for subtracting 56 minus 21. And today, we're going to talk about a more efficient way to take away amounts or subtract. Today's strategy is called the removal strategy. So instead of removing one at a time and being there all day, we're going to take a look at, a, at removing chunks at a time for when there's a bigger difference between two numbers. So for example, that problem that I just had, 56 minus 21, we're going to break that subtrahend 21 into parts. So let's break that into tens and a one. So 56 minus 21 turns into 56 minus 10 minus 10 minus one. Again, I have my 56 and I'm going to jump back by 10 Okay, there's my first 10 of 21. Now I'm left with 46. I'm going to jump back another 10. Now I have 36. And I'm going to jump back one more. Now my answer is 35. That's a whole lot easier than taking away one at a time. So at this point, I would work with some other friendly numbers or easy to subtract numbers. Remember, start off small and work um, with bigger examples uh, once students get comfortable. Uh, so students can focus on those number relationships, focus on subtracting chunks of 10, eventually chunks of five, and other numbers.